Hey everybody, look what I got. That's right, I got the Blade Inductrix Switch Air. In this video, we're gonna unbox it. We're going to take a look at all the parts and pieces. We're gonna test fly it. That's right, we're gonna test fly it in here. And then at the end, we're gonna do our review notes wrap up. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on inside the box. All right, guys, I have to say, my first impression is this thing is ridiculously tiny. It is so small, and wow, it is tiny, guys. I've got an Inductrix, so I should have been able to look at the picture and know that it was probably going to be small, but I was shocked when I opened the box. This thing is tiny. All right, I'm going to continue with the rest of the unboxing. Okay, guys, here's a look at this thing from another angle. While you're taking that in, be sure to consider clicking on the links in the description. That will take you to a link where you can purchase this. I've also got a link in the description to my Amazon store. That helps me fund purchases like this so I can keep reviewing brand new stuff for you guys all the time. All right, back to the review. Right here, we've got the charger. And this is the 1S pack. This flies on a 1S pack. And of course, we've got the wing here and that's attached to that Inductrix. The Inductrix is that specially designed to work with the switch stuff. Now there's another switch item that I'm gonna do a review for later on, but for right now, we're gonna look at this, and coming up next, we're gonna look at this thing much closer to the camera. All right, so here we go with a closer look at this little guy. So if you look closely, you can see there are little clips right there on either side, and there's a clip right there. So what happens is this thing will pop off there and attach there, pop off there, attach there, and this whole thing comes off this, and that makes it into a quadcopter, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to just fly it like this as a wing, and I'm gonna do some setup with the radio. In fact, actually, before we do that, this is where the battery's inserted right here. Plug it in and do that, um, but that's really it, pretty straightforward. Should be great for beginners, at least in theory. Looks like there is a beginner mode and an expert mode with the flying wing. So I'm going to get that all set up with my radio. And then when we come back, we're going to fly this thing. All right, guys, I've got things set up per the instruction manual. And to turn this thing on, we push that button right there. And then boom, we've got the fans going. Now if we push that button again, that turns them off. I'm not sure if you heard that or not. I've got a lapel mic, so that may or may not uh, show up there, but that's working. So I'm going to hit that, and I've got it in the first flight mode. I set it to the switch B, which it, is what it calls out in the manual, and that is basically the beginner mode. So what that does is you fly everything on this stick right there, and it's more of a VTOL, more of like a hover. Now, when you switch it into the second switch, you could actually set this up on the A switch, which is probably smarter, but I went literally pure per the manual. But if you switch it to the second switch, that makes it so you can fly it like a regular four channel plane. So keep that in mind, guys. I'm gonna switch it there. And let's see what happens. We're gonna do this in beginner mode. There we go. It's our yaw, backward and forward. Keep in mind, this is a very small room. It's 10 by 10. And I'm really wanting to use the rudder because I'm an experienced flyer. But this should actually be just fine for a beginner. It is very gentle on the inputs. There's no expo, there's no dual rates. My guess is Everything is just fine and or everything is all set up within the chip, the board, whatever you want to call it. Very cool. Wow, it's actually pretty quick going forward. That's fun. All right, all right.
All right, sweet, that's cool. Now to shut off the motor like I showed you before, push that right there, don't wanna waste the battery. Now I'm gonna switch this into airplane mode, or expert mode rather, for the airplane. And I'm gonna turn this back on. And let's see what happens. This is a little less of a VTOL experience, it's more responsive. Still a VTOL experience, but slightly different, more responsive. It wants to fly forward like a plane. The other setting, it wanted to do a little more VTOL. Oh yeah, you can fly this in a really small space, guys. Wow. This is really fun. Where was this during the winter time when I really needed it? My goodness. Yeah, this thing. Very small space. Wow. Now to keep... Oh, it looks like we've got low voltage cut off. Well, let's cut that off right there. Don't want to destroy our little battery. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm in a future video, I am going to do the radio settings. And I say that in a future, not so future video, I'm going to cover our radio settings. Coming up next are our pros and cons. All right, guys, we're going to do our pros and cons here. The first pro is this is a lot of fun. I had a ton of fun, especially in the expert mode. That was awesome. As far as the other pros go, it could be great for a beginner, but I definitely recommend the ready to fly version. This is the bind and fly version, and the setup is a little bit complicated for someone that does not have experience programming a computer radio. Another cool thing is this can be converted into a hovercraft right here. I'm gonna have links in the description for all this stuff. Another option that's pretty cool is that this works with 220 milliamp hour 1S LiPos. It works, it's a little bit tail heavy. However, that may pay off if you decide to do it with FPV, which is awesome. And again, another pro is that it has potential to do FPV, that's cool. As far as the cons go, the flight times are pretty short, I'm not gonna lie. And even with the 2200s, it's really not that long of a flight time. With all that being said, this is definitely Approved by GB Linden. Like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.